Hey guys, it's Lauren and today I'm going to be doing an indie bath haul. So today's haul is actually from Happy Place Cosmetics and I placed my first order with them probably a week after Halloween and that's a long time ago, I know it is, last year. Um, but I didn't film the haul then because, I don't know, I just kind of, I wasn't sure if I was going to buy from the company again. I have done a few indie hauls that I haven't put on here, um, like from Dirty Fresh Cosmetics and Darkness and Sparkles. I did put haul pictures over on my Instagram, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. But, and I did a haul pick of this as well, but I decided to do a video because... I was going to talk about this company in my top six blush and indie comparison video thing and I just kind of realised I hadn't actually put a video out on the products from this company so I realised it would make no sense for me to talk about it and then I haven't actually put any hauls on my channel about it so I was like I will film hauls and there will probably be four haul videos. I'm still actually waiting on one order, but I mean, I have a haul from Gold Friday, from this one, um, from I've got one from a D stash, and then obviously the open restock, which took place in January. So that might be arriving in February, or early February, or late Jan. I'm not sure yet, but I thought it just made sense for me to show you or hauls from this company, if that makes sense. So, let's show you what I got. So this is from the, um, not the Halloween restock, but it kind of is from the Halloween restock, but none of these are Halloween items because if you don't know, the Happy Place Cosmetics restocks are very crazy. They, products can sell out within minutes and I when I say minutes I mean like two minutes which is mental and it was a bit overwhelming for me it was the first time I was trying to order and then I, I just put it off I had things in my basket and I was just like no I can't deal with the stress right now um which improved next time anyway but oh, I don't know it was just a bit stressful so I decided not to buy anything from that restock and then a week later they were having a sale um, like a code for like 20% off which is great to get rid of stock and that's when I bought these items so the first product is called Wild Child now they do a lot of lush scent dupes which is great I mean this tin, tin is a little bit dented but that's, that's that's not their fault it's my fault because I'm very I'm very clumsy and I, I keep dropping them so there's probably, there there are dents on nearly every single tin because I've dropped them too many times. So this one is a scent dupe for 29 High Street. And this one, they all have like holographic stickers on them. And it smells exactly, I mean exactly like 29 High Street. So this one does have glitter in, but it's not very noticeable. It's like a purple and orange colour. I love the colour scheme and I love the scent. So these are all like shower whips if that makes sense. The next one is called Duvet Bay and this is what they call a twisted creation and what that means is it's like two scent families in one pot mixed together to make a new one I guess. Um, so the two scent families which are on the actual website in their little fragrance list is Duvet Day and Blueberry Bay. So it's like a mix of blueberry. It's very, very sweet. It's a really pretty colour as well. It's very sweet and it's also got like a scent of hot chocolate and like marshmallows. It smells really really good so I love the scent and this one has glitter in as well it's not very noticeable but there is glitter on the bottom that I can see 
So it's a, they're all multicolored actually. But I really love the, the products and the scents are so nice. So this is the one that I have used partially, which is to be expected because this is before Christmas, you know, and I was just, I was dying to use them, okay, but it helps because you kind of know the texture of the whips because I've used it. So this one is called Are You Okay Hun? I actually did a demo of this over on my Instagram, um, and which is actually in my story highlights underneath HPC, which stands for Happy Place Cosmetics, if you didn't know. And it's also under shower whips, because it's a shower whip. And I've used it twice so far, so the scent of this, um, it's a little bit soapy, but it also has like a vanilla clean scent and also a little bit of salted caramel bit to it but this one was actually the prettiest of all of these it had this beautiful like gold swirl <laughs> maybe I should have used a different one but it just fitted perfectly with my back cocktail so I had to use it but this was the prettiest um it was so pretty uh it's beautiful beautiful gold shimmer obviously glitter and it's a pink and yellow kind of colour. The scent is nice. The texture is something else. It's so good. It's very thick. In my demo that I talked about, um, the texture is really, really thick. I used way too much in that, that video. Don't use that much. <laughs> you literally need like a tiny, a tiny bit. Just start off small. Um, but it's so foamy, it foams up really well, it's really, really good for shaving. I highly recommend it for shaving your legs. Like, I've, I used to use Lush Fun um, before, well I used to use it because it was really good and people recommended it. Um, but Fun isn't great in my house because it melts within a day, which is not great, well it literally melts out of the packaging and then onto whatever it's on. So if it's on the floor, it'll melt on the floor into a little sticky puddle. This isn't gonna do that. And my legs were soft after using fun, but this makes it softer, like, I'm very impressed. And I was talking to, to them on Instagram and they were saying there's no, like, air in their products. The texture's so thick, like, I would say there is more product in here than other shower whips that I've bought and used, like say from Lola's, because Lola's organic, because the pot itself, like they, they weigh the same, kind of, or they have the same amount of milliliters, right, they're 200 milliliters, but this one will be heavier because it's thicker, which means there's more product in there, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's making sense. But the scent is really nice and the texture so good it makes your skin so soft not exaggerating okay i'm gonna move on so this one is called so melon dramatic this is actually my least favorite out of the five um i just think the other five are really good scents but this one's just kind of melon and you do get like a sharp watermelon tropical kind of scent and then it's a little bit watery and clean smelling, like fresh, I don't know. I don't think this one has glitter in, it might be the only one without glitter, but it's a cute little like, did I show you what colour it was? Like a pink and green colour, but it doesn't look like there's any glitter in this one, but it is my least favourite scent because I think the other ones are so good. But, I mean, even if you don't take part in the main restocks that they do, I think that you can get really good products um, from like the sales and stuff. If you have a look through like the fragrance descriptions, I mean, they all have them all on the website. If you ever want to know 
what a product smells like, check that. Um, they do upload, um, uh, they upload all of the products they're going to sell in a restock, I think two hours before, or an hour before, but half an hour before they shut the website down. So this one is called Regina. I don't know if I said that, but the stickers are like holographic, which is pretty cool. And this one is a scent dupe for Yummy Mummy. And this one has really cute um, pink glitter. The glitter is plastic free and biodegradable. I did have a look on the website and that is what it says. And this one's got a cute little bow. I think it's really, really cute. And it's difficult to pick a favourite, but I would have to say the Duvet Bay, simply because it smells like hot chocolate and marshmallows with a little bit of blueberry. So I think it would pair really well with the Bubble and Bake hot chocolate body scrub. Like them two together would be amazing. So that is all the products that I received in this haul. I do obviously have more hauls coming. I might post a second haul and then, I don't know, cause um, the Gold Friday haul that I received is the body scrub haul. So should I upload that before the others? But I received that one last. I don't know, but I might do that one earlier than the others so I can show you the product range kind of because that haul was body scrubs and this, the others are all shower whips. And I have tried a body scrub out now as well. So I can talk about the texture of that. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you guys in my next video.